Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Harlequin Coho here, and my landing craft is full of eels. Uh, by which I mean I've been getting a ton of replays lately on the new map, Beach Assault. And uh, this one in particular I found very interesting. So let's go ahead and get this replay started. And I'm going to go ahead and jump on over here to the right-hand side of the map where we do have P-51 Mustang. He is an airborne commander. I have seen his name uh, many times. He is currently ranked number 17th on the ladder. And it uh, looks like he's got airdrop smoke, airdrop supply drops, airdrop decoys. I almost never see that one used. I'm curious to see him use that. Air reconnaissance and strafing run. All the way on the other side of the map, we have his opponent, Alaric B, who is another player I've seen before. He is currently ranked number 19th on the ladder as a Blitzkrieg commander. And you will see he has infantry pillage, flares, stormtroopers, rocket barrage, and heavy armored support. Uh, I pr frequently say this is one of my favorite Blitzkrieg layouts. So let's go ahead and see where this is all going to go because this is a fairly new map and uh, I'm always curious to see how people start off. So uh, if you take a look at the minimap, you will see that it looks like P-51 Mustang right out of the gates went for this key munitions point here. If you saw any of my earlier, earlier video where I was talking about uh, some of the kind of interesting parts of this map, you will notice that this munitions point completely isolates both fuel points in the lower left and the lower right. So going and grabbing that right away is very important. That is a key area. Uh, it is mirrored by this point uh, above it, which does the same thing to this little island of double fuel points here. So um, I'm keeping an eye on these guys because I like the fact that they're being so forward. He knows what he wants on this map. Uh, you can see he's grabbing this, but he's largely ignoring the top part for now. Uh, it looks like he's just going to grab the stuff on the left. Uh, sorry, to, to the right of his base. And look at this. This is very sneaky. I really enjoy this. So this is the pretty much the only way down onto the bottom side of the map uh, for the uh, Axis player. And uh, he's just going to go ahead and barbed wire that off. You know, oftentimes that's just going to get cut, but who knows. So uh, now this is curious. Uh, this early medic station, I'm not quite sure why he's got that going. But uh, you now he's got a bunch of riflemen, and he's pretty sure that he's going to be fighting around here. So I'm going to take a look and see what uh, what Alaric B is up to. We've got the Bargain Vos Grenadiers out here. They are always out very early, nice and cheap. And it looks like he's producing a heavy machine gunner. Uh, didn't even really bother trying to go and cap anything down on the shore. It looks like he did the exact opposite path. Decided to take the northern side and all of the things in his backyard. Uh, we've got some of the first skirmishing going on right now. It looks like uh, Bargain Volkswagen is just barely finishing that and now kind of scrambling for some cover. Uh, looks like these skilled riflemen are a nice heavy green cover. <laughs> I think the Bargain Volkswagen are about to find out that their path has been cut off. And so now they're just kind of moving around. And here we go, the heavy machine gun team is on the field, but it's just a little bit out of the way. That is, of course, the Fatherland HMG team. And look at these skilled riflemen just scooting back and forth between green cover. And you can tell that the bargain folks right there are paying for it. Uh, they've taken one casualty, but you can see they are at very low hit points. They are, they're all slightly wounded. So uh, this is what I was kind of looking forward to. Uh, you can see that Alaric B has a nice little central position here on the heavy machine gun team. Uh, he has benefited from green cover. You can see a lot of his shots are kind of digging into the dirt, but he's still firing away. Um, meanwhile, it uh, looks like these bargain folks from Adiers are detecting the fact that P-51 Mustang is very cleverly grabbing the one point that isolates the fuel. He has decapped it, and it looks like the bargain folks from Adiers are going to have to recap it before he benefits from fuel in any way. Uh, meanwhile, just kind of checking around the map, it looks like P-51 Mustang still has total control over uh, the southern side of the map. And uh, Bargain Volkswagen is just kind of exchanging some light fire here with these uh, with these engineers. Uh, nice looking flank here coming from Alaric B. He's going to be able to scare him away and retain control over this side of the map. And uh, for the time being, it looks like Alaric B is up two victory points with P-51 Mustang only controlling the beach. So... Uh, I'm still curious why he has a medic station up so early. Uh, I, I think it would have been better to get more riflemen quicker and then get a, then get a uh, medic station, but who knows. Uh, he's clearly a high-ranked player, and he's been playing this quite a bit. Uh, my suspicion upon seeing this map was that you would see lots of uh, fighting right here in the exact center and lots of stalemating with bunkers and machine guns. So uh, he's probably already seen a bit of that and knows he wants his uh, medic station here. Honestly, though, I, I would have happily seen it like back here or even just a little bit further back. That to me seems a little exposed, but but we're gonna move along here. So skilled riflemen uh, just kind of coming back onto the field right now. Uh, once again, firing at the accomplished Volksgrenadiers. Accomplished Volksgrenadiers are basically the German equivalent of skilled Volksgrenadiers, uh, sorry, skilled riflemen. Accomplished and skilled are both kind of generic uh, terms that are used on multiple vehicles and units. 
And uh, for the time being, it looks like Alaric B is just kind of messing around with his uh, messing around with his machine gun. So check it out. Ooh, this is kind of cool. You can see a little bit of smoke usage here. And uh, but unfortunately, the Fatherland HMG team has no problem whatsoever, just kind of turning on his heels and firing away. Um, I do like seeing this kind of harassment here, though. This is Wilson's Rifleman, by the way, uh, level four, being used by P51 Mustang, and he is intentionally just going for that point over and over again. I'm guessing he knows he can't fully control the top half of the map, but he can disconnect it. Meanwhile, we have a lot of kind of grueling trench warfare going on at the moment. Uh, looks like the accomplished Volkswagen are uh, doing a great job, and wow, check out just how many Volkswagen uh, Lark B has out right now, just tons and tons of fire. We've got a second uh, HMG team up here. Actually, that's the first father HMG team, but the other HMG team is over here by the trenches, and it looks like, ooh, shooting some medics too. A little bit of Geneva uh, Convention war crimes going on here. So uh, that medic station is finally taking a massive amount of firepower. And it's worth noting right now that a Lark B has got uh, the uh, 20% reduced reinforcement cost, 9% accuracy, and 16% health. Uh, you can see he's got quite a few of them out right now. He's got two hero squads and uh, a single Volkswagen along with two machine gun squads and a uh, little pioneer running around. So for the time being, it looks like a Larg B has managed just to have dominating central control. Uh, you can tell that these heavy machine gun teams are just really, really hard to flank. Uh, they really get dug in and they are there to stay. Meanwhile, down at the bottom of the map here, you can see that uh, the field pioneers have taken the long way down. Uh, it looks like at some point he did manage to cut that barbed wire. Field pioneers down here, only meeting an observation post, meaning it's going to take them quite a while to actually chew their way through that before they can recap that point. Uh, but for the time being, just heavy, heavy infantry here, supported by a little bit of machine guns. Uh, you can see this machine gun has got a great position up here, just kind of firing away. Uh, the, the combination of these two machine guns gives Alaric B really dominating control. But, uh, not to be not to be turned off by that, you can see that uh, P-51 Mustang is hoping to use uh, a little bit of smoke cover to allow him to attack or to attack this position, which is otherwise unflankable. Flamethrower is being used against units that are in the trenches. Those trenches provide green cover, so that's definitely extra damage for them. And uh, a little bit of a hand grenade chuck there by Wilson's Rifleman, but it doesn't look like he's hitting anybody. So, it uh, looks like he was able to use the smoke to overcome the hard flanking position here. But... The second machine gunner has no trouble whatsoever, just kind of turning around, repositioning, and wow, look at all of those kills right there. You can see infantry pillage is activated, and all of this is just free, free money uh, from those kills on the HMG team. HMG team, by the way, 10% damage, 10% re received damage, 10% armor, basically. That's what I like to call it, at least. And uh, <laughs> down here on this side of the map, the field pioneers finally getting... Uh, this is this observation post onto about 10% hit points. That's kind of cool. And the Fatherland HMG team now just sprinting back to the front of the field. I'm always amazed when I see that unit moving in friendly territory. It just moves so quickly. There goes that observation post. I just heard that from the from, from my headphones there. Meanwhile, so uh, total, total central control right now for Alaric B. And it looks like he's just kind of spreading out for the time being. Uh, I'd like to see him kind of head over here and start capping some of this stuff just to get greedy. You know, cap it and just force your opponent to recap it. Uh, but for the time being, it looks like P-51 Mustang is stuck in his base. Now, he has had pretty good control over this fuel almost the entire game. So he, he has this fuel cap right here, and he has the bonus fuel on this side. And... Uh, plus his own regular fuel. So it looks like he's going for a fast tank depot. Normally, if I see an airborne player going fast tank depot, I would expect uh, a tank destroyer, but we'll check out and see what he gets here. P-51, got to switch to his point of view. You can see he's using his uh, air reconnaissance, just keeping an eye on everything. Meanwhile, uh, Alaric B, reading my mind, is going to go ahead and cap this munitions point. And uh, using a little bit of smoke once again, you can see that the skilled rifleman backed by a flame engineer are coming here to just kind of clean everything out. Uh, riflemen and flamethrower engineers, very deadly in these close quarters here because they, they uh, are just really good at short range and they can basically avoid a lot of machine gun fire when they're in the trenches. And flamethrowers, of course, do a lot of damage to people who are in heavy cover. Everything's heavy cover when you're in a trench. But apparently that didn't matter even one bit because the uh, overlapping fields of fire between both HMG teams was enough to kind of send those uh, riflemen running. 